Alrighty, so we got a question today in the uh, Facebook group about setting up a sequential um, count and reset. So what I've got here is our input. I'm just going to run this, so make this a value of 1. Uh, we're going to get one value count up, and then when that gets to point 0.9, it'll start counting up the next value. And when the final value hits 1, we reset everything and start it all again. And now while we can kind of get this sort of effect going with delays, um, the delay means that once we reset this, everything will delay through it again. But this way, everything hard resets to zero right at the start. So let's walk through how this kind of works. So this is based on accumulators. So we click on our accumulator here. We'll see that we have a value coming in, which is starting off as our initial value of one. Uh, if I move this out of the way, we'll see we have a value coming into attack. And now this is controlled by this envelope here. I currently have it set to 0.5 which means it'll take two seconds to fully count up. Um, so 0.25 would be four seconds. One would just be one second. So think about this is just like how long or how slow your uh, counter would go. And I've got a condition modifier down the bottom here, which is linked into the final accumulator output. So when this final accumulator reaches a value of one, we jump into our condition here. It is going to look for a threshold of one. And when it is equal to that threshold, it'll send a one value out on all of these lines, which the accumulator actually has a reset input. So the signal flow is we get our one here. We start accumulating. When that gets to point 0.9, it starts counting up on here. When that gets to point 0.9, it starts counting up on here. Point down, count, point down, count. When this one gets to one, it sends a signal to condition, which then resets all of these accumulators back to zero and then we can start again. So just jumping in here, my range remap, as I've got here, is 0.9 to 1. So in here, we're just basically looking for the input is 0.9, the output is 1, uh, and then it goes from 0 to 1. Uh, I'm just using numbers up here in text to, to illustrate how this works. So it's just basically coming out of the accumulator into a value as text, into a text, um, and then popping out. So if you want to stop it after a specific cycle, we can turn the, this value out here. Um, I've just got a condition modifier here, which is only going to look for the one, and you'll see it's just stopped. And the reason I just put this in here is if occasionally you want to set up one cycle and then stop it, uh, so you have like a MIDI control here that fires it on, as long as the first one is completely counted up, then we'll, we'll go through the cycle, we've reset this back down to zero or any number that's not one, so when this final comes around and resets, it'll stop again. And that's just a, an added little thing in. So again, right from the top, we have our initial value coming in at one. We have our attack change here. So again, back in, our attack value is our speed. And then once we get to our final accumulator in the chain after passing through our range remaps, we're gonna hit a condition modifier looking for a one, which will hit the reset on everything. Cool, I uh, hope this works for the show you're after. If not, um, I hope this is useful for someone else. Cheers, have a good day.